What's up YouTube, Poplar Mechanic here. Today we're at the legendary SRT redirect tree. Uh, this is where we did the figure eight and you guys seem to like that. So I thought, uh, why not show off this other SRT redirect I thought of. It's pretty cool. I'm sure there's something similar, but I've never seen it done exactly like this. Uh, so let's hop up and I'll show you guys how to get her done. Okay guys, so we've got our primary tie-in point up over here. Um, we've walked out on this limb as a scenario and we're going to go ahead and we want to redirect on this piece here. So I'm going to set you guys up and uh, I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so once we're in position here, um, we're ready to do our redirect. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take a carabiner. We are going to clip it above the rope runner. We're going to lanyard in, release some slack, and then we're just going to take this captured bit of rope and carabiner and we're going to wrap it around the branch. Um, this one's a lot easier to adjust and load share than the other ones. Uh, if you want a little more tightness, you'll just kind of leave that carabiner back so it sort of cinches it down. So that's pretty good for me. So we'll go ahead there. Okay, so that's what the first part of this redirect is going to look like. Now this is rock solid, um, and like I said, it shares the load quite well between the tie-in points. Um, for the retrieval part of this redirect, we're going to go ahead and grab the tail of our line or an alternate rope. I recommend something like a Petzl roll clip or, you know, a carabiner with a pulley. In this case, I'm using the hitch climber and an orca because that's what I had on my saddle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, take the hitch climber pulley, I mean, obviously, before you tighten this down super hard, you can go ahead and install this. Okay, so you've got the hitch climber pulley for the retrieval end. And we'll just go ahead, put the carabiner in there. And there we go. That's rock solid. You're set up and ready to go. Um, and you should always have your tail with you, obviously, in the tree. So you'll be able to uh, retrieve this from the ground or from the canopy, or if you have an alternate rope, you could have the groundsman do it. I'll show you a quick close-up of this, and then we'll show you how it retrieves. So that's what it looks like there. Just rock solid. I like it. Okay, guys, so once you're safely on the ground or on a limb where you would like to retrieve your redirect, you're going to go ahead, lanyard in if you're in the tree, or just simply undo your slack. Okay, we're going to undo a bunch of slack or take the device off. If you're done, then we're going to go ahead and pull that retrieval end, okay, with the hitch climber pulley. So that pulley is going to give you some nice efficiency here. So we're going to go ahead. pull that down we got to take everything off here now starting with the pulley obviously you don't want any knots left in your rope if you don't have a, an eye or something like that in your rope so you're, you've got this bite we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the rope runner and then you're just gonna pull this bite of rope okay just keep pulling till that line comes through and then it'll just come out. And the beauty of this is that that carabiner is just going to slide right back down the rope to you. Okay guys, before we close, just one more thing I wanted to show you. Obviously this can be done with a quickie as well. Some may prefer this, um, some may not. I guess if you're on a smaller limb... Um, and your carabiner is sort of levered at the ends, this might be a better option, but it, it's really up to you. I mean, carabiners are tried and true. I know you're not supposed to use them in certain configurations, but I mean, honestly, you're not gonna break a carabiner. Um, so, you, I mean, you can just go ahead and you can use the Quickie. One cool thing about the Quickie, obviously, it's, uh, it's a little more compact. Um, and then when you put your tail end pulley here, or whatever you're using, um, you're going to sort of have more efficiency because this pin will roll and sort of act like a little, um, act like a little pulley. So it might be a little more efficient. Um, but I mean, the choice is yours. The options there. There's there's plenty of options out there nowadays. I just wanted to point it out that I. It's not that I didn't think of it. It's just uh, I initially thought of it with a carabiner. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.